and welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways, where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. I am Uti Elu, and I am joined by my amazing, awesome co-anchors, Nasa and Lami. Hello, ladies. Hello, Uti. Looking bright and orange. Thank you. It's great to be finally back. Uti. I can't believe it's the former in the studio. I know, I right? know right? <laughs> it is possible for me to leave my house. It actually is. So what happened? What did Uwa do to um, get you out? Well, no. So, I mean, the, the reality of it was I didn't have child care for like three months that was interesting uh, my son and I bonded really well wow but um, yeah housework can be mind-numbing <laughs> mm. hey. three months of me doing everything homeschooling cooking that's cleaning, my reality every day of my life home. I've never had child care yeah, why powerful woman. no you know you did that's once, my reality right? why do you choose What's to the reason? I'm not just lucky with them okay I think the beginning I thought I didn't need one mm -hmm. Because you're a superwoman, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but uh, trust yeah. me, there's nothing like a superwoman. Of course it, not. It, 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 it does then I started looking down. for yeah. in March because I didn't get the well, one this I wanted. year? Yes. Uh, Unfortunately, that time thank you. <laughs> was that week the numbers kept increasing? And like, funny enough, I thought COVID was going to go in like a month. Mm, uh, we all, honestly, yeah. I never mm -hmm. knew it was going to extend to this so. time. So now I didn't even have, I cannot even get one now. So yeah. I'm looking funny at that you say that. I just got a, another. How, how did you have the. I, I didn't have a choice the because it was either that or I lose my mind and I, I had to. And no, that's the, the my old, reality. The old my I had, had to go because I had one tested well. and she tested positive and that just freaked me out. So I just left the process. No, when Uwa told oh, me well. that, that completely just yeah. didn't like, I'm not even I know someone that. who tested about four people and they kept testing positive. But she's still Are you sure they were, they were just testing no. positive for malaria or something? No, it wasn't malaria, COVID. I mean, COVID, COVID is COVID real. Test, real. I mean, it really is. Which is why we're wondering why the churches are reopening. But that's, you know. Ha, we'll come later. to that. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. But it's great to be back on. I'm very excited. Yeah, everyone. So here's what we found as today's quote. Reading is to the mind what exercise is to the body. And that's by Joseph Addison. So what do we think? Do we agree? Absolutely. Exercise the brain. So, oh my goodness. So teaching and training your brain, right? You know oh what? So goodness. I say, you know, when, when you say reading, right? And this is me pay, playing the devil's advocate. So must it be reading? Could it be another way? Isn't it? Shouldn't we say learning, right? Because you make it seem like that's the only the, the whole objective of reading is to learn. Is to is to, yeah. What else is it? Acquire knowledge. So, so, so the knowledge. options, so how the else can options I have have broadened, but I think that reading still has a unique place in that so people uh, you know a lot of times i hear people say oh i don't read books so, so that, what do they do? that for me oh, they I, watch listen, movies, I could listen to the books no. or no so people that hey. say they don't read books generally right. are not into books in general oh, right, so whether okay. it's audio books or whatever they, right. they just don't read so just you know i'd rather watch the movie or i'd rather just like there's so many things but i mean i sort of agree with you in the sense that knowledge gathering has changed yeah it all doesn't come from the pages of a book now but Absolutely. i still i'm a little old school so I only I don't started think you're old school. I I can, I'm a great no, it's sucker okay, both for, yeah, old school. It's okay. for oh, reading. Yes. No, I can <laughs> I don't think I can sleep without reading. Mm. It takes me to another level. Do you understand? I, it's my for escape. For me, reading is my, my escape. That's what yes, it's my escape. Book I can't. We're reading that we just yeah yeah yeah. 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 And the yeah. knowledge we you won't acquire, talk about even if it's won't. <laughs> even if it's non even if it's fiction, non-fiction, you always no I do I always there's always something for you to acquire. Also, not everyone not everyone feels that way about it. Okay. And my first daughter, oh my goodness, she, she loves reading. Read. I wish I could say and the same. amount of knowledge she's yes. gathered yeah. from that. So you know that's where I. That, this is the thing with my first daughter. Like she's so precocious, right? But she, Muna doesn't have that time mm. to just sit down and read. She's very restless, but yeah. she is so knowledgeable, and it's all from all the cartoons she's watch, watching. So I'm almost like, okay, so it's not necessarily about reading. It's just about your own learning techniques like there how, are different ways yeah, yeah. how do you yeah. learn and you know um, acquire knowledge okay. and what yeah, works yeah. best I agree with you Nasa but <laughs> <laughs> I still feel so, reading <laughs> so no. today we are talking about books and reviving our reading culture we have an amazing guest with us to discuss this but first let's take a quick break and when we return we'll see what we found in the news <laughs> 